Hello everyone, last time in the Escapist Alpha we had a crash, big surprise there and I said last time what I would do is I'd play through till about 6pm which was about the time of the crash and pick the game up and we would play forward for there for a couple of days so that is precisely what I'm going to do now I will see you at 6pm and here we are again back in the gym I redid everything I think I did um, I built the shovel I bought a hammer we're gonna have to get some uh, more paper rache in order to uh, to uh, replace that wall if we decide to knock a hole through it um, what I did find that was new is a new craft note which looks quite yummy whip timber wire razor blade I bet that's fun to use. Okay, alright. So, we're pretty much back where we were. Oh, give us a chance. Pretty much back where we were. Um, evening period, I want to do these two jobs. So, um, what we'll do is have a quick look at Leroy's desk. And in the roll call, I want to give this sock to uh, Ronald so I'm not carrying it around anymore. And if I get the chance. I'd like to pick up the makings for paper mache and I wonder if he's got any of it. It's my mate Taylor. He's got a crafting note, so... Hmm. Any chance? Yes, there you go. The guards are going to look the other way. I'll have that crafting note. Thank you very much. It's not like he's going to like me any less, is it? Guard outfit. Inmate outfit. Bleach. I thought an inmate outfit and bleach made overalls. I'm probably wrong. Okay, there we go. Right, so evening free time. Let's go and find... Is it Leroy's desk? Oh, my memory. If only I had one. Leroy. Yes, Leroy's desk. Let's find Leroy's desk. That's not it. That's that. That is it. Okay. Right. So what's been going on? I, I, I've, I, I've had a, a a very interesting week this week. I go, you guys have had a good week, but uh, yes, my week. Um, get to that in just a second. Roll the toilet paper. We'll have that comb. I will have that. So I've got a weapon. I'll have that ink. And there's the dice stunt. There's an extra twenty. Yay. Okay. So now all I need to do is give that sock to Ronald. But what I do first. Is I'll pop in here, get rid of some of this stuff just to be on the safe side. There we go. Um, Ronald, I think what I'll do is I'll wait for evening roll call, and I'll give him the stuff then. And I'm glad I've got a comb again because I can sharpen that on a wall at any time and make a weapon out of it, which is going to be useful. Okay, what's my stats look like? Intellect is high enough. Speed and strength could both use some work. So let's do that. Let's uh, go and work on our speed a little bit. Anyway, yes, interesting week. I mentioned in the last episode about uh, doing some voice work for my favourite mad Scotswoman. And my favourite mad Scotswoman is a, a YouTuber called Exim Sugar. She's a wonderfully bubbly, fun person. And even if you don't particularly like The Sims, it's it's often worth just going and listening to one of her videos and getting listening to her getting all excited about how adorable. Uh, her sims are and how much fun she's having and it, it really comes across and it's all really exciting and she's uh, decided to do um, a sims big brother right what do I want I'll have one of those because I suggested I file through the vent rather than use the screwdriver I'll have one of those and do I want a screwdriver just in case no I don't think I do that's but I think I will nick that roll of toilet paper. There we go. Right, evening roll call. Let's get there before lockdown. Because things get really silly when that happens. Right. Um, let's see if we can find Ronald. Yes, so she's been doing a big brother in The Sims. It's just started tonight. And uh, um, she's, all she's really done is uh, introduce The Sims. But she asked me to do one of the voices. So I've been... I've been doing some voiceovers for her, and I will be until well, presumably my character gets booted out. Right. Let's get rid of that first. Didn't get rid of that sock, so what we'll do is we'll pop that in there now for now, and 
let's let's have a crack at breaking out, shall we? Um, right. So it's number three. Cut vent. Very nice. Five percent, and that's taken five percent off the file. So basically, one file, one vent. Okay, that means I'm going to need to buy some more files by the looks of it. What I'll do is I'll get this down to five percent and then go to bed and we'll do a bit more tomorrow that way um, as you can see my fatigue is starting to build up a little bit because I didn't have a chance to rest uh, and uh, um, it also gives us the whole night to just do that last five percent and then um, move on to the next place and the great thing is we've got all this nice storage space up here now hopefully so um, this is really nice, isn't it? This is this is an indication that things are moving forward, which is yay, great. Anyways, yes, um, Sims, uh, yes, Sims Big Brother. Now, oh, you are too fatigued. Okay, that'll do for tonight. Yes, yeah, Sims Big Brother. I am not a huge fan of Big Brother. In fact, I would go as far as to say as I, 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 I intensely dislike Big Brother. I think it's a, a strong indication of pretty much everything that's wrong with British society, all summed up with, um, well, it's uh, anything that doesn't involve football, to be honest with you, which, which is probably a contentious subject this week anyway. Uh, so I'm, I'm rather ashamed of myself that I enjoyed it, but I really enjoyed doing that for uh, for, for Exim Sugar. And uh, if you have a chance, if you feel, just feel like looking at something a bit different, I really do recommend you go and see it. Okay, right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest now, and uh, rest auto saves, so um, I will take a moment there to restart this game from the auto save. that way we're perhaps resetting the crash counter a little bit, so I will see you in just a moment. Well, here we are again, back on day two, and what we will do is we'll just do the roll call, have a quick look at see what people are selling. I don't have much money, but uh, I will have some after crowbar. I would like one of those because I believe, and a few other people, a few people have said in the comments that a crowbar will open those boxes, and I'd love to see what's in some of those boxes. Only two people selling stuff. Yeah, only two people selling stuff. Okay. Um, actually, Pierre. What are you after? If you could distract, divert the card's attention next lunch for me, I can dish out some justice using this screwdriver. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Alright, so we'll we'll beat someone up lunchtime. What's up with you, Pierre? Pack of smokes, nothing I'm interested in. Okay. Now, let's start. Let's get rid of all this uh, illicit stuff. Move along, Mr. Guard. Thank you very much. And then we'll go grab some breakfast. We'll go do some metal work. That one, that one. And what's great is fairly soon we'll be able to store those in the vents and I won't have to do that every morning and every evening, which will be marvellous. Okay. Well, that was a short breakfast. Still, that was horrible food, so who really cares? Yeah, big brother. You know, it's it's not unfair to say I loathe Big Brother. I think it is an indication of everything that is wrong. Well, not everything, but a lot of the things that are wrong with British society. It's just it's just so poor. It's so there's no thought behind it. I mean, not even this game. It's a simple game, but it's got more subtlety, more thought in it than Big Brother will ever likely to have. It's just another one of those things that makes celebrities out of people I think are just so incredibly annoying, so... Um, yes, this is the time when I get the eugenics volume out, really, isn't it? Needless to say, I don't like Big Brother. I don't particularly like big, what Big Brother stands for. Um, when Big Brother did a, a zombie apocalypse. Let me hide this before I go and have lunch. When Big Brother did a, a zombie apocalypse series, I was cheering for the zombies. Why did I do that? I don't need that sheet of metal. I've already built a shovel. But anyway, I've got a spare sheet of metal now anyway. though no, uh, It's not the end of the world. Yes, zombies. Cheering for the zombies. 
because quite frankly, anyone, any zombie that eats a Big Brother contestant is a friend of mine. I'm trying to give the impression across here that I don't particularly like Big Brother. It's probably coming across, isn't it? So, I gotta be honest, I was, I was really ashamed in a way, um, and amused in another way, that I, I just enjoyed doing that so much. It was, it was great fun doing those voiceovers. Um, putting on a silly voice and uh, this was this was after the weekend when I, I didn't record for one day because I couldn't talk so it was all a bit rough and horrible anyway and oh let's be honest here shall I have that crowbar? yeah let's have that crowbar and that afternoon period what I think I will do is go and see if I can use it to open a box oh I forgot to do that job didn't I? never mind he's unconscious so oh you got you got a screwdriver? No, you've got a trowel. I don't know how you were supposed to stab him with the screwdriver when you got a trowel, but there you go. Uh, anyway, yeah. Box. That'll do. Three. No. No, doesn't want to open. Um, what you can do is uh, duct tape two of these together and make a grappling hook, which is fun. Anyway, we shall pop that away and then go and do some exercises. Or, actually, what jobs? Find a sock for Ronald, yeah. Um, we'll pop this away, pick up a sock and then do some exercises. That way at least I can give... Yeah, yeah, just a sec, just a sec, there we go. Now if you beat me up, I don't lose that crowbar. And besides, you're old, fat and slow. You're not going to keep up with me, are you? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, let's go and get a sock. And then I can give that to Ronald, who is probably, once again, not going to turn up for evening roll call because I have the item he's after. Uh, yeah, sock. There we go. So, okay, plans for this evening are file our way through the last of that vent, get in there and drop off a few bits and pieces, and use the... Uh, fake vent cover um, to hopefully cover up the hole in the vent. If I can't work out how to use the fake vent cover to cover up the hole in the vent this is probably going to be a very short let's play. But <laughs> at least it's not because it crashed this time. And then what I'll do is I will save I will restart oh actually let's see if you guys got some super glue because I could love some super glue no right okay yes I will save, I will restart, and then we'll do another day. And then, given it's so late, I shall go to bed and do another one of these tomorrow. Actually, that's a thought. A number of people are going to be com um, commenting on the fact that I record so late. And to be totally honest with you, it's, it's down to the fact it gets very warm this time of year. Um, it's just one of those that weird time of year in the south here on the south coast of England where I don't know what it's like in the rest of the country but evenings tend to be almost as warm as the days and I find that very uncomfortable so given the fact that I'm going to be sitting here for several hours and talking in a, a room which is uh, already a bit overheating because of uh, all the computer equipment I I like to wait until later on when it's cooled down a bit and that way I can, I'm just a bit more comfortable uh, when it cools down a little bit or if I ever sort out this room so uh, it's got a bit of better ventilation then I'll probably start recording earlier again. Um, that's just, just my way of doing things. I hope it doesn't inconvenience people too much and for the live stream, yes we'll get onto the live stream in just a bit, um, I will certainly be recording earlier on in the day. I'll, I'll give myself a nice uh, big bottle of drink and uh, make sure the windows are open and there's some air blowing through and then I'm just gonna sit down for a few hours and play the escapist I'll start a new game and I hope perhaps we can pick another way of, of, of breaking out and I hope you all can come along so what's the plan for that I'm well over 50 subscribers now before recording I had a look and I'm up to 55 subscribers which is incredible um, 
So what's going to ha what's happening? Now? I will be practicing with Twitch TV to make sure that I, everything's working all right tomorrow. If you are around, if you see me uh, practicing, please feel free to drop drop in and uh, come onto the chat and say hello. I'd love to have a chat with you. And then, assuming everything goes round, uh, uh, goes well, I shall make an announcement during the course of the week, uh, saying that the uh, the live stream is on and when it will be happening and then you guys are all welcome to come along please 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 come along please give me your feedback please give me your ideas what I'm really hoping for here is a collaborative breakout um, we've tried tulling out we're trying to go out through the vents now so uh, what I'd love to see is if we could do it a different way um, that uh, then um, yeah, what I, if you can't make it along, what I do, what I'll do is I will I will try to put that uh, live stream up. Um, where's Ron? Where are you? Yeah, you, not you. Is it you? Yeah, hello, Ronald. Um, I, right. Um, oh, ah, too slow. Never mind. I'll do that tomorrow. Yes, uh, I will try to put it up. Um, on YouTube if you miss it but please if you can come along um, I will be aiming to do the live stream sort of mid afternoon ish on a Sunday so hopefully that won't be too hard a time for anyone to come along but 1995 it's reset oh man Oh dear, let's put a crimp in my plans. Oh dear. So, it that is probably a bug, I'm going to imagine. Then there goes the file. Right, that is now at 60%. So we will look at that again tomorrow night and see if it stays at 60%. Right, my desk. Anything I want to do? Anything I want to pop in there? No. One other thing, we've got we've got two rolls of toilet paper here now, so if we can get two tubes of super glue, we can use the toilet paper, the super glue and the ink to make a false wall. And that false wall means that we can then just go through here, up that ladder, and looks like there's some interesting stuff here, but there's a locked door which we're going to have to get through, so we're going to have to work our way through that, but still. It's another thing to do. Okay, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to restart the program. And then we'll do a third day. But that vent, that's really, that's a real shame, isn't it? Okay, good night. And here we are back again for another day. All right, and slightly... Yep, yeah, it's back to 100%. It looks like if you sleep, it resets the vents. Well, that's a, definitely a bug. Okay, so that means that our escape plan, and I still want to use the file to get out there, we're going to have to do that in one day. Let's grab that crafty note. Not the end of the world. A pair of overalls, any outfit, bleach. That's slightly confusing. All right. Um, let's just check this. Guard outfit, inmate outfit, bleach, pair of overalls, any outfit, bleach. That one is a bug, I'd say. I'm willing to bet that that one is um, an inmate outfit and ink. I think we did that one in an early episode, thinking about it. What else have we got here? We saw the whip the other day. Knuckle duster, duct tape, razor blade. That's probably an easy one to make. Um, that's all fairly obvious. Right, okay. Have you got any jobs while I'm thinking about it? Find a sock for Ronald. There we go, let's find Ronald. Ronald! Hello, Ronald! Right, you're not getting away from me this time because I'm sick and tearing, tired of carrying this sock around. There we go. Right. So, actually, while I'm thinking about Pierre, you got anything? Pierre, uh, Pierre has the worst luck. Have you noticed that? I think this is about the third roll call in a row that Pierre has ended up knocked out on the floor. Yeah, you've seriously got to ask why people don't like you so much when that happens. 
Alright, don't look my way, Mr. Guard. Oh, God. Come on. Quick. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. I think one of the things I want to do here is, is work on my strength a little bit and then pick up a weapon and see if I can knock a guard out and get some of the keys. Because that's the reason why I'm carrying this putty around, if nothing else. But, never mind. Off to, uh, to make some number plates right now. Okay. So, that vents a little bit of a disappointment, isn't it? That's a clear bug. Unless somebody's made uh, self-repairing aluminium, which I should imagine is a little bit out of the scope of this game. Three, four, five, six, and six, and three, four, and four, and five, and six, and six, and six. <laughs> oh dear. Four, five, six. There's no need for me to take one of these in. I've got a number plate floating around, and I've got a sheet of metal floating around if I need it. I'm pretty much done with this job, to be honest with you. It's only the fact that it plays well is why I'm staying with it. But anyway, that's enough. Okay, let's, we've got $81 on us now. Let's have a quick look at our profile. Uh, a moment in the library wouldn't hurt. Speed is building up alright. And strength is staying about the same. So a bit of work on those stats wouldn't hurt either. Ah. You having a look through my desk, Mr. Guard? Well, you won't find anything. So, anyway. During roll call. I will have a look at all the people selling and see if I can buy another file. We know now to completely file through that uh, vent in one go, so uh, if I do find a file, I will have to make sure that I end the evening with uh, zero fatigue. And then I've got enough fatigue to, uh, to dig my way all the way through. And then I can put that, um, that uh, fake cover on it instead and uh, we'll take it from there next episode. Of course, if I don't find a file, we'll perhaps be doing that next episode. All right, let's have a quick look at a few people. Taylor. Crafting notes. I don't want a hammer. I might come back to you for the crafting notes. Odell. Crafting note. I, again, I might come back to you for the crafting notes. Not really helping me, though. Uh, did I do Taylor? Yeah, that's Ross. What have you got? No. Okay. Eeny, eeny miny Taylor. Let's have your crafting notes. Let's see what I got there. Crafting notes. Poster. Ah. Ah. Wonder if I can stick that up on a wall to hide a hole. You know, all Shawshank. I think I'll give that one a try. Okay. There we go. That was worth $25. Alright, you guys. You got any super glue by any chance? No. And Ronald, what about you? No, you've even lost your sock already. Good lord. Alright, afternoon free period. Let's go and bump some stats up. And he's right, he's right. you should check out spudsquest.com. Uh, Spuds Quest is a good game. I might do a Let's Play on it. Uh, actually, thinking of Let's Plays, um, the other thing I'm going to be doing this weekend is... Uh, doing the next episode of Kerbal Space Program. Um, I had some some people vote on the, uh, the the craft for the next episode so I'll be showing those off and the one that's won will be the one that goes to collect the science then we'll move on to a bit more and I'm hoping by the end of the episode this time we might actually get something that will go into orbit. Uh, fun game that. I, I, I think I, spent, I, I enjoy that game so much because it, it's, it's just one of those games where you've got to be clever but to be totally honest with you the, the, the game itself is it's just cleverer than you are uh, so it's it's just going to reveal your your flaws and your plans and your bright ideas and and just just rub them in your face and if, as long as it does that in an amusing fashion that is entirely worth watching uh, uh, a very, very frustrating game, but so much fun. Uh, yes. Yes, I've, um, I've done a practice um, 
of a challenge map for Space Engineers, which I'm hoping to record out during this week and be putting that up. Um, and what else are they doing? I played a, a few games of Worms Armageddon with my new friends at uh, Team Tuxedo. That was last night, wasn't it? Yeah, that was last night. Unfortunately, my recording, apparently Worms Armageddon is very, very finicky when it comes to recording. My, my recordings didn't work very well, but um, I believe one or two of the others did, and you might see them putting those up on their sites fairly soon. Uh, off to the shower rock. That's it. If you're going to get knocked out, get knocked out, Super Glue. Yay. Get knocked out this... Oh, sod you. Let's see if I can get away from him. Come on. No, I'm not, am I? Alright, let's use that crafty note. That was no good at all, and I, but I kept the super glue. That's all that matters. Right, that's one more piece of paper mache. I just need one more tube of super glue. And we're away on that one. Alright, shower block. There we go. I've totally lost track of what I was talking about. Evening free time. What jobs do I have? None yet. I don't want to get all um, exhausted. So let's go and see if we can do a few jobs for people. Starting with you, sir. All right. William seems to be drawn to the inside of my desk. Introduce him to your fists. Okay. Let's see what else I've got out of here. Um, nothing out here. Come on, let's go. Um, talk to me, Craig. There we go. Officer Rinaldi jacked my watch earlier. I want it back. No, I'm not going to take an officer just yet. Though that's something I need to start doing fairly soon, I would say. Gosh, isn't this jerky? Isn't this a little bit laggy? Yes, it is, isn't it? Ah, right. Let's see if we can get... Uh, it's one of the things I want to do is get rid of that fatigue. Um, no, everything's green. That's good. Let's just sit down for a minute. There you go. Just wear that fatigue off. Four, two, zero. There we go. Yes. Um, Worms Armageddon. So, uh, I think we might be playing a few more games of that coming up. It was loads of fun. We had a great laugh. And... Um, if, when you, if you do get to hear some of the recordings, basically you were just hearing um, uh, six blokes all just basically losing it. It was ridiculous, for want of a better word. So it's probably going to make great television. I don't know. Um, Larson, you got anything I'm interested in? No, not really, have you? Another crafty note. I want these crafty notes. Oh, slight crimp of my plans here, unfortunately, because I don't have a file, so there's not much I can do to break out tonight. So what I might actually do is, and I'm going to have to be really quick here because I probably forgot to pick it up, is um, expand that hole underneath my desk slightly and I can put more, more stuff in there. Yeah, that sounds like a plan actually, doesn't it? Just have one last look through you guys. Gregorio, what do you have to sell? File can't afford it. That's frustrating. Never mind. Right, quickly. Because otherwise I'm going to get beaten up running back to my cell, which would be really frustrating. And come on, come on, come on. Have that. There we go. And out we go. Yeah. Not quite a lockdown yet, which is good. And in. And <laughs> just in time. Okay. Right. Can't do anything through the vent. Let's just check that again. Vent, 100%. That's really annoying. Uh, can't be helped. Right. Four. Dig, 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 dig. 20%. Okay. So that's just as good as the trowel, but wears out much, much faster. So those trowels are actually better. Worth remembering. And oh, would you believe it? Oh, all right. Let's do another hole. Come on, forty. 
Well, that was a little bit disappointing, wasn't it? Alright, put that back. Have a look, vent 100. I don't want to flush that dirt because as soon as I do that, um, there we go, there's uh, that, that, I just need one more. Yeah, flushing dirt has this nasty habit of flooding these and I don't have a mop and a plunger to sort that out and then they come in and look at that and they, they realize you're doing all sorts of naughty things and uh, yeah so we have this was an interesting uh, this is an interesting episode wasn't it some ups some downs but I think we firm some plans so tomorrow um, I'll make a little bit more money doing the metal work and then what we'll be looking out to buy a file we need to go through that vent in one go because of that little bug and that's a, that was a rather annoying but can't be helped and then we'll move on to the next step unfortunately the next step will probably be transferring stuff up there and then looking for another file because that file will be worn out in the vent which is a bit of a shame anyway that's it i'm going to go to bed now i'm i'm going to go to bed now i hope you guys had fun watching this if you did please leave me a like subscribe if you want to see some more um, look out for the announcement about um, the live stream next weekend. If all goes well technically, I will definitely be doing that. And uh, thank you and good night.